Hello everyone. This video will show two methods of sketching the graph of a direct variation. Before we go farther, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to direct variation. Before we go over some examples, let's have the definition and real life examples of direct variation. We remember that by definition, Direct variation is a type of proportionality wherein one quantity directly varies with respect to a change in another quantity. To better understand this, let's look at variable A and variable B. For a direct variation, if variable A increases, variable B will also increase. Now please notice the direction of the arrow. Both of them are increasing. On the other hand, if variable A decreases, then variable B would also decrease. Again, please notice the direction of the arrow. Both of them are going down. Again, please notice that for a direct variation, both variables have to increase or both variables have to decrease. So whenever we see this type of relationship where both variables increase or decrease, we can go ahead and say that A varies directly as B, or we can also state this as A varies proportionally as B, or A is directly proportional to B. Now let's take a look at some real life examples of direct variation. Okay, the number of hours you work and the amount on your paycheck are directly proportional to each other, which means that if you work more hours, then it means that you get more money. On the other hand, if you work less hour, then it means that you get less on your paycheck. So again, the number of hours you work is directly proportional to the amount of your paycheck. Now let's take another example. The speed of a car and the distance traveled in a certain amount of time are directly proportional to each other, which means that if a car travels faster, then it can travel more distance. It can cover more distance at a given certain time. On the other hand, if a car travels slower speed, then it can cover less distance. This tells us that the speed of a car is directly proportional to the distance it traveled at a certain amount of time. Okay, going back here, we remember that the general equation of a direct variation is y equals kx, where our k is the proportionality constant. Now, we remember that this equation resembles that of a slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Now, please notice that our m represents the slope, the k here then, which is the constant of proportionality or proportionality constant, represents that of a slope as well. Well, our b in the slope-intercept form is the y-intercept. In the case of a direct variation, our y-intercept is 0, which means that the graph is going to touch on the point of origin or at 0, 0 for a direct variation. Now, we also remember that the k value, whatever k value we have, it usually comes in a fraction form. And the top here tells us that if it is positive, we go up. And if it is negative, we go down. And the denominator here, if it's positive, then we go to the right. And if it is negative, we go to the left. So that is how we interpret our k value. Now let's have an example to better understand what these rules are. Okay, so in this example, we're supposed to sketch the graph of y equals negative 4 thirds x. Now we will identify the m and the b first. So let's start with the M. We remember that our M is pretty much the same thing as that of a K. So it's actually negative 4 over 3. 
and our B here is always going to be zero. So our B is zero. Now we will interpret what do we mean by this negative four over three. Again, this represents the K as well. So I can go ahead and write that um, down here. So K is equal to M, which is equal to the slope. Since when we read this, we can go ahead and say it's negative 4 over 3. Remember, the top tells us if it's going to be going up or down, while the denominator tells us if it's going left or right. Since we say negative 4, that means we go down, and this is a positive 3, then that means we go to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and label that down here. So we're going to start um, plotting the B. So our B is at zero. So it's at zero right here. It's always going to be the point of origin. And then we go down four and write three. So I go down four, one, two, three, four. So I went down four because it's negative. And so I go to the right three from here one two three so this is where the point is so i'm going to go ahead and uh, plot that point right there so this was a positive three because we went to the right so then we can go ahead and draw the graph of y equals negative four over three x we can actually add more points. We're going to go the opposite. So if we switch it, we are going to go up four and left three. So just switch it. So up four, one, two, three, four, left three, one, two, three. So the other point could also be located up there. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, our K here is two thirds. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down here. K, which is equal to slope M, which is two over three. And then our B again is zero. So pretty much there was a invisible plus zero right there, which we don't have to write. So our B is zero. So interpreting this, this is a positive two on the numerator. That means we go up two. And then since this is a positive three, we go right three. So we go ahead and sketch the graph. We start from zero, zero every time because this is an example of a direct variation. And so we go up two so i go up to one two so i go up right there so that's a plus two right there and then i go to the right three one two three so this is where the dot is gonna sit again we went three to the right so i go ahead and do it on the opposite side as well or we can continue to do that that's the same thing so it's gonna be plus two right three so up to one, two, one, two, three. So we can put the dot here. We can also go the other way around. That means we switch this direction. I go down to left three. So down to left three. And so I go down to left three. So this is where the other dot is gonna sit. So we can go ahead and connect these dots together. So this is the graph of the equation y equals 2 over 3x, which is a direct variation because it crosses the point of origin at 0, 0. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example. So in this example that we have right here, we are going to use a table of values in order that we can sketch the graph of this equation y equals 2x. So we're going to have a 6 by 2 table. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that table down here. Okay, in this table, we're going to use the values negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. So what are we going to do is we will plug this x values into the equation and we solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show the first example right here. So we have y equals 2 and then I put in the um, 
x value, which is negative 2, I put it in here. So that would be 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. So this one right here is negative 4. And I will do the same thing on the next one here. So that's y equals 2. And then I put in the negative 1 inside the parentheses. That will be for the x. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And so I write that down here. That's the value of y. Then we have the 0, y equals 2. And then again, I put in the 0, and that is equal to 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. I write that down here. And so I will continue the rest of these two blanks here. Okay, so I've completed the table of values. Our next step is to sketch the graph. So we start with negative 2 and negative 4. So x is negative 2, and we go down to negative 4. So it's going to sit right here. And then we go negative 1 for the x and negative 2 for the y. So it's going to sit right here. And then we have a 0 and 0. And then we also have positive 1 for the x and then positive 2 for the y. So it's going to go up here and then positive 2 for the x and we go up 4. So we can go ahead and connect these dots together and this will be the graph of y equals 2x. Again, this is an example of a direct variation because it passes through the point of origin, 0, 0. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. The first step that we have to do is to create the table of values. And so we create the table first. It's going to be a 6 by 2 table. I'm going to draw that table down here. Okay, the next step after we set up the table is to plug these values of x into the equation and we solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and show the work down here. Okay, so I've shown the work down here and these are the values of y. So we're now ready to sketch the graph. So we start with negative 2 and positive 6. So it's going to sit up here. And then we have a negative 1 and positive 3. So it's going to sit here. And then we have a 0 and 0. So it's going to sit down here. We have a positive 1 and negative 3. And then we also have a positive 2 and negative 6. So we can go ahead and connect these dots. So this is an example of a direct variation because it forms a straight line. And at the same time, it's crossing the point of origin 0, 0. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!